All right, we're live, live on the Facebook, you guys. Welcome, welcome to the live archive. We are live. And I'm the only one paying attention. It's time to cry. OMG. Uh, welcome to Dive Bar Comedy. I'm Wild Joe. It's Tuesday night, and uh, we are live streaming tonight. So we're back to our old Zoom habits. So uh, let's start with our theme song by the late great GT, and then we'll go around and meet all of our comics because we've got some amazing and super talented people this week. It's going to be a lot. Of Carol Newell. I wake up when the sun goes down. I wake up when the sun goes down. I want to do some comedy. I want to do some comedy. At a dive bar, at a dive bar, at a dive bar, at a dive bar. I can't say what I want to say. I can't say what I want to say. No sense. Dive bar comedy. Dive bar comedy. Dirty bag nasty comedy. Dive bar, dive bar comedy. Dirty bad nasty comedy, dive bar, dive bar comedy. Dirty bad nasty comedy, dive bar, dive bar comedy. Dirty bad nasty comedy, dive bar, dive bar comedy. Yeah. All right. There we go. Wow, well, that's, we're off to a fun start. That's GT at his finest. And uh, that's a dirty, bad, nasty comedy. So, all right. Thank you, Carol Newell. Thank you for getting us up and running. Carol is our tech guru. Yay. And uh, yeah. yeah, she always gets us live at 9 p.m. on Tuesdays. So, all right, let's meet our comics. First off, we have. Carolyn Langford. Hello, hello, good? hello. Looking curly. I know it's usual. so ridiculous. At the beginning of the pandemic, my hair was dead straight. <laughs> <laughs> and now look what's happened. It's so <laughs> weird. <laughs> I finally uh, got my real hair and learned how to weave it and I made a wig. So this is my real hair. And except you, for the you very look top beautiful. The rest is. Well, you look Thank beautiful. you. Thank you. It feels great to wear my real hair. It's like it's so comfortable. So except that it's like 90 degrees every day. So I've been just walking around bald because it's friggin' <laughs> hot still. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. All right, Caroline, what have you been doing? Uh, you mean still it, home. I'm still bloody home. I say like I've become a recluse. So I've started writing a book. Mm. I've really? got, yeah, I've got, I've got uh, uh, 60,000 words already. Wow. How many pages is that? Oh, it's I like guess. 300 or so. What? I just, yeah, but there's, there's a problem with me writing. <laughs> See, I don't know about you young girls, but as you get older, you lose the padding on your bum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and when you sit for a long time, oh my God, it really what about hurts. What, 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 oh, I've what tried about everything. About and you know, so, and you can't write standing up. No. So, you know, I never had much of a bottom to begin with, but now it's, it's awful. You wait. I'm thinking wait. Temper, a temper pedic, get like a temper pedic pillow and sit on it. That's what I would recommend. <laughs> well, <I'll try laughs> but you see, you see, I keep going doing this because my bottom hurts. <laughs> well, I'm standing up right now. I always do these shows 
standing up because it's stand up comedy. So I just figure out a way to stand up while I'm doing it. Well, I'm um, cheating. I'm doing. Sit is down. it a secret? Is it a secret, or what is your book about? Oh no, it's it's no, it's a novel, and uh, basically about an abused woman and her narcissistic husband. Um, yeah. No, it's not a memoir. So how close, <laughs> if you're already at 300 pages, how close are you to the end? No, I've finished the, the story and now comes the hard bit, which is the editing. Mm -hmm. Wow. And that is tough. So, uh, you know, I, I, I work on it daily and uh, because otherwise you'll go, I'll go insane because I don't go out of that bloody house. It's crazy. I've written so many books up to like page three. You know, I've never finished one all the way to page 300. That's amazing. And nor have I, but a, a pandemic will do it. You've got children. I'm in a book club. <laughs> I recently uh, had a book club meeting where the author spoke. And her book, it's, uh, her name is Alki Joshi, I think. It's called The Henna Artist. Mm -hmm. and, and she's actually just released the second one. It's like a trilogy now. What she did was... She went back and got her master's in fine art when she decided she was going to write a book. And she wrote this book as like her thesis. And then with editors and, and publicists and all of these people, she rewrote it like 35 times for the next eight years yep. until she finally got the, the version that was released. And it, it did very well. So. Well, I think I'll be doing for about eight years all this editing. Besides, I never even, I never studied uh, writing. So yeah. I'm learning as I go along. But but I enjoy well, it. I think a lot of professionals in publishing want to give you their feedback. Am I freezing? Yes. Dang. I said, I think, I think in publishing, they want to put, give you all their feedback before they let you put it out. They want you to incorporate all their changes. Of and course. But you got to get, you know, let, let me get this book till I feel like it's, it's ready for someone to see it. And then I'll take it from there. Who knows how long this pandemic's going on? You know, I think I have enough time to keep working on right. the way things are going. <laughs> well, that's exciting. That's great. Yeah, that's great. Yes. So I'm very proud of you. Well, um, thank you. Yeah. And I think you're going to be very successful because most people that I meet, uh, I think I like rub off on them. Like I don't come successful, but they do. So uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, well, good luck. That's awesome. Thank you. All right. Let's see who else we got tonight. How about, oh, it's a lot of, lot of ladies in the house. Kristen Lucas. Hi, Kristen. Hey. Welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah. So what have you been up to? Uh, you know, uh, vaccinated. So I'm getting out in the world a little bit. I've been grocery shopping rather than having groceries delivered. So that's a big change. So that's exciting. That's exciting for me. Just going to the store. Just yep, getting out there a little bit. Oh, I, I think I would. I think I got married between the time. I, I think I, I think so between the the shows, the, the last show and this show. So wow, that's, <laughs> that's, cool. that's did probably. Did you guys do a wedding, or did you elope, or just go to the courthouse? We did. We yeah. We, it was in June when uh, there were, it was a little less crazy. Um, back uh, pandemic. There was like a pandemic window that seemed like everything was chilled out. We got married. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, congratulations. And how Thank about stand up? You, you're doing shows? Um, I'm doing Zoom shows. Yeah. Zooming around. But not in real life. Nothing in real life yet. No. Well, you're not like Carol. Carol's in real life every day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Carol, Carol what, what are your shows like these days? How's, how's real life treating you? Well, funny you should ask. Um, <laughs> we have a big show 
on Thursday at the J Spot. I'm back at the J Spot uh, for Cosmos Thirsty Thursdays. I will be hosting, which I'm very excited about. That is my new comedy home, uh, the J Spot. So uh, if you guys are in LA and you need to go somewhere and see a show, Thursday is the day to do it. Come and see me. Uh, DM me for free tickets. Uh, other than that, all the usuals, Wednesday, the Rumi Cafe, still doing that open mic, and then Saturday, Pan Pacific, which Wild Joe's going to be appearing pretty soon at, and uh, Baja Grill on Saturday night. So that's the Skadili, and I'm still doing the Zoom show, of course, every other week. That's what I'm doing now. And so next Tuesday, we'll to be at Lotus Lounge, right? Yeah, next week, a week from today, we're at Lotus Lounge. That's like east of Hollywood. There's mm -hmm. no town called East Hollywood, but if there were, that's what it would be in. Yeah. So, yeah. And and I stopped by Lotus Lounge today. Check out uh, one of GT's vending machines that he left there. And in two years, it has only made like twenty dollars. So, <laughs> it's not going to be there long. <laughs> but uh, I stopped and I I saw the owner Suwana, who is crazy and fun and. Uh, I love it when she comes to our shows because she always heckles the comics and you know, <laughs> adds her own little flipper. So, <laughs> so that's going to be a fun time. And uh, yeah, so Carol, I noticed your show is called White Chocolate. At <laughs> that's me. <laughs> yep. So it's like a, it's a black club, but you get in on the white night. And, and I also noticed there's still even on the white chocolate night uh it's mostly still black people <laughs> you're like the, the representing the white people at the j spot kind of sort of yeah <laughs> <laughs> although we i mean we had three white people on last thursday and one person of color so it wasn't wasn't all you know black yeah white chocolate that's pretty funny okay. but because they always have like chocolate sundays i think that the the comedy store they always have these chocolate nights at, at other clubs so mm -hmm. they have the white chocolate night at the j, j spot the j that's j pretty spot. funny exactly. <laughs> cute mm -hmm. very cute i saw you carol um at the pasadena well, it's comedy. like the pasadena comedy club mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you were on a blind date with one of your black men from BLK, right? <laughs> yeah. Secret. He was pretty hot. He had yeah. Like cool hair, like twisted. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that's called, but he had really cool hair yeah. and he looked pretty young <laughs> and fit. Mm -hmm. Is that a secret or can you tell us how your date turned out? <laughs> you were telling all your jokes about how you like to do it with black guys. And he was laughing <laughs> really hard, kind of embarrassed. <laughs> How was that as a first date? It was uh, it was okay. Yeah, we went and ate afterwards, and then I took him home, and uh, you know, things happen. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Carol. We're all living That's vicariously like through mm -hmm. Carol. Yeah. I like chocolate Carol's and nuts. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Oh. It's a lot of fun. I'm glad you found your home, the J spot. Mm -hmm. That's where you belong, Carol. I love it. <laughs> exactly. All righty. Who else have we got? Linda Marcus Smith. How Hi. are you? I'm wonderful. You and all your interviews. How many interviews are you up to now? 724. Nice. Holy wow. And I these are get long to a thousand too. by the end of the year. Wow, that's a lot of comedians. A lot. So I've learned a lot. Thank and thank you. We did an interview. It was great. Yeah, yeah, you were awesome. You made people cry. Thank you. <laughs> Aww. Yes. Oh, yeah, you had a friend over. You said your friend was over during our interview, and you said I made her cry. Aww. Yes, that's great. The, the Try to make more people cry. Like, yeah. Oh. So, and I'm hosting a I'm hosting a military yeah. to military show on Saturdays and Sundays at eleven, and I share it with military companies. Okay, that's awesome. So how, how does that work? 
So veterans Is military that are, people on the show? Yes. And then we have one spot a week. We call it the Bob Hope, Bob Hope spot, where somebody who's not served in the military can come on. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Great. Right. And is this all, this is all on Zoom also? Yes. I'm staying safe pretty much. Nice. Pretty much. Yeah. These are my safe people tonight. These are the people who said, no, we don't want to go do a live show. We're staying home and being safe. All of us safe, except for Carol. Carol is <laughs> not safe at all. She's everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I had COVID. Carol's already had COVID. It's a great feeling. It's a horrible feeling to have COVID because you don't know how bad it's going to hit you. But when it's over, it's a great feeling because you feel like invincible, like you could touch doorknobs again. Not that I ever like touching doorknobs, but you know. <laughs> so. All right. Well, welcome to the show. I got, got a lot of noise, a lot of background noise here. People are about to jump the door. So let's Okay, let's get to Funky Sam Dina. Funky Sam Dina, unmute hey. yourself. What's uh, let up? Let us how know how doing? is uh, you're in kind of the Bay Area. Right? Yeah, yeah, I'm in the Bay Area. I'm about an hour southeast of San Francisco. So that's pretty cool. Nice. Hell nice. Yeah. How how is the comedy scene out there? What's going on? Uh, the comedy scene is flourishing. It's doing really well. There's a lot of mics. Uh, there's a lot more mics and showcases, of course, right? Uh, but there's a lot of mics and stuff happening. There's a lot of shows happening. Um, I, myself, I've done very few. I've done maybe like six or eight uh, spots so far. But we produced a show, that little window, that little window that uh, that Kristen was talking about uh, in July, actually. We produced a show. It was really fun. And um, yeah, so I'm not, I'm not trying really hard to be out there right now just because things are kind of crazy. I'm um, having fun doing my online stuff. Uh, but, you know, get out there a little bit. We're going to Athena, my wife, Athena and I are going to be in a comedy festival uh, next month in Eureka, California. That's way up more than California. Um, it's, a, it's a weekend, uh, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. So we're super excited about that. It's been a lot of fun. Like we're, there's like a bunch of venues and we both are on three different venues in that, in that area. So it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a good time. So uh, Sam, do you have a ponytail? I do. <laughs> This is my. Uh, How long is it? You're hiding it back there. This is my quarantine hair. I don't know if you can see it, but it's not that long. I mean, when I when my hair is down, it's a little bit past my shoulders. Um, I don't remember when I got a haircut, but it was sometime before the pandemic happened. My last haircut. All right. Well, welcome to the show. I've got crying. That's why I have to always mute myself. I'm crying as not stopping. Um, I think we talked to all of our comics already and it's a mr c what's going on mr c i i like your look i like your bandana and all that it's cool yeah yeah i'm rocking a 50 cent swag today because i'm feeling real american because i just voted i got my flag on got my red white blue skin bags did you get on. your sticker though yeah, I got my sticker. I had put it on uh, Cheech and Chong's chest, <laughs> but there was a lot of weed oil coming out of Chong's mouth and it fell off on the way home. Uh, <laughs> but I did Instagram it and take a picture. So that's I, all that counts. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. Pass that all else as well, man. My birthday is this Friday. Woohoo! Party week for me. I'm going to Six Flags on Friday and I'm about to roll every roller coaster in that bitch. And I'm. <laughs> Wait, your birthday is this coming Friday? Yeah, September 17th. Woo, happy birthday. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, happy birthday. We'll have to bring bring a cake or something. We got cupcakes at our last show, but that was for nobody. I right. know what song no Mr. C is going to sing tonight. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday to himself. Exactly. <laughs> the Stevie Wonder version. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. That's exactly what I'm going to sing. No, the Marilyn Monroe. All version. right. Oh, that's my usual one. It went down, but I, <laughs> I might have to save that one. All right. Well, happy birthday. And yeah, we're going to have to bring some kind of cupcakes or something on Tuesday to celebrate after the fact. And tonight, uh, I don't know, we're celebrating tonight. By, uh, we'll all sing happy birthday. Maybe we can all sing it together. 
There you go. So, all right. Who's going first? Well, nice. Oh, it's going to be a mystery. lady. Mr. I can C? tell you that. All up to you, <laughs> uh, all up to you Mr. C. You decide. Because there's oh, only one God. sausage at this party. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's from the most experienced dive bar to the least experienced dive bar. And if there's some time zones, I switch it up. So I'm just going to go with, uh, what is it? Caroline, Linda, Funky, uh, Kristen, and then Carol, are you going? Yay! I'll go. Like that. So that's the plan. Sounds good, guys? Sounds yeah. good to me. All right, so, yep. that, so it's time for the job bar comedy show. I'm Mr. C, the Enforcer, a.k.a. Poppy Call, the bad boy. Of course, you just heard Miss Wild Joe, supported by Carol Newell. And mm -hmm. it's time for the job bar show. You guys ready for the job bar show? Yay! Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. So we're going to jump right into our first comedian. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little hyped. You know, I'm fresh off rent check Ramadan. I got a little bit to the Lord. <laughs> now I'm ready to announce. So this next comedian coming to the stage is always one of our family favorites. She is from across the pond and she has lived in many different places. I even think she might be part of the J team, one of my J bros with J froze from across the team. That's why her hair is so curly. Yeah, her accent is so spicy. And I'm sure she knows how to play. You guys ready for this next comedian? Can I get a year? Yeah. Yes. Right, right, right. So this lady coming to the stage right now is nothing but fish and chips comedy, and that's because it's tasty, sweet, and crunchy. Give me a clap, 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 clap for Caroline Langford. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. Enough, enough. I'd like you <laughs> to look closely. Actually, I'll take off my glasses. Look at me. Are you looking? Yeah. <laughs> because this is the face of suffering, okay? <laughs> I'm talking 20 years, day in and day out, with the husband. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, 20 years ago, I, I married a hunk, a stud. <laughs> <laughs> now what am I married to? He's got diabetes, he's had a heart attack, he's overweight, he's got <laughs> high blood pressure. <laughs> And now the doctor says he's got some kind of sleep disorder. Mm -hmm. Like, it, like he, he stops breathing several times a night. Apnea. And I said, I know, I know he stops breathing. But he starts again as soon as I take the pillow off his face. <laughs> oh. It's not easy, I tell you, it's not easy. <laughs> I'll tell you something I hate. I can't stand it. People always go, oh, you smoke? Mm -hmm. How long have you been smoking? <laughs> and I'm like, well, I don't know how long I've been smoking. Okay, well, let's just say this. <laughs> when I was born, I came out of my mother smoking her umbilical cord, okay? <laughs> <laughs> they put me in the nursery with the other babies, and I'm like... Anyone got a smoke? I'm jonesing here. It's been <laughs> nine months. God. <laughs> <laughs> when I went to kindergarten, all the kids have got their ID badges. I've got my, I'm wearing my nicotine patch. <laughs> <laughs> Teacher came to me. She started telling me about all the dangers of smoking. And I, I, I mean, I was in shock. I was horrified. Right then, I switched to filtered cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you one of my favorite things to do. I like to go visit the graves of my friends who used to lecture me about my <laughs> <laughs> When I'm there, I always light up. And I like to let the ashes <laughs> drop in. Because as they say, ashes to ashes, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, so uh, sweetie, you never smoked. How's that working out for you? <laughs> <laughs> oh God, you know, something, uh, I prefer dogs to people. It's, <laughs> I know. You guys, there are exception, but generally I can't stand people. 
I much prefer my dogs and I've been here with my dogs for a very long time. Someone asked me if I'd ever been bitten. And I said, actually, one time it happened and it was not a pretty thing. I mean, I'm talking blood everywhere. The pain. I mean, my God, the teeth, they're like this big, you know. And I was a bit worried, to be honest, because, you know, once they bite, they once they taste blood, they can bite again. Uh. So I, 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 you know, I was talking with my husband and, and, you know, we were thinking that we might have to put her down. Uh. I was heartbroken. But I mean, how long can you be angry at your daughter for, eh? <laughs> She's a, she was a teenager you know <laughs> now what have you written there have you written oh, I got a minute left you <laughs> no, I just wanted to say one last thing about the daughter because She's tattooed from top to bottom I'm telling you there's not a place without a tattoo and she said to me do you like them and I was of course darling I never liked your natural skin tone. So this is a good cover. <laughs> and you know, sometimes when you're away and I miss you, I like to go down to the county jail and visit the inmates. So I feel like I'm with you. And in fact, darling, congratulations. <laughs> you and a serial killer have the same tattoo. I'm so <laughs> proud. Muzzle off. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Another round of applause for Caroline Lane for yeah. Miles will talk. What a really big, great, important topic. One thing that people don't know much about: doctors and cigarettes. A lot of doctors smoke cigarettes. Right. Mm -hmm. So when she told the story, I immediately got this picture when she came out, Joseph, of the doctor just looking at her and pulling out a cigarette and her, the mom and him just sitting there blowing a cigarette down. <laughs> right, I've, done it. I've done it. I've smoked with the doctor. <laughs> I'm telling you, they, they out of control. Reverence to her. You know, I'm not, you know, I don't want God to send me to know. I ain't going to tell you my mm -hmm. reverence stories. <laughs> Ooh, it's amazing. All right, so once again, another round of applause for Caroline Langford. Mm -hmm. I'm doing this on my desktop. It's all big and shit. I got one of them big screens. Right. <laughs> 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 that how you do it? That's the duck face, right? Mm -hmm. I thought it was sexy. <laughs> God, it looks like I was about to get murdered. But that's all right. So let's get to our next comedian. So our next comedian comes to the stage. Let me make sure I check it out here. Yeah, all right. So, oh, this next lady coming to the stage is the Larry King of the comedy. <laughs> he has interviewed everybody from most likely homeless, crazy Kenny to stars that you know that you see on TV every night and there's more to come. You're going to check her diagram. You're going to check her stuff. And for years and years, people are going to say, this lady did it. Are you guys ready for the next comedian? Can I get a year? Yeah. yeah. All right, so this lady coming to the stage. I like her name because she got three names. I love people to use their middle name. And her name sounds real cool. It's like, yo, LMS, what's poppin', son? Yo, LMS, <laughs> where the weed at? Yo, LMS, where the gats? Yo, LMS, <laughs> where the bitches? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so everybody get excited. Give me a clap, 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 clap. for the lady come say this, Linda Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, aren't you fabulous and then some. Give it up for him. Yeah. <laughs> wow, the best. Oh my gosh. Uh, people say I smile too much. I don't know. Do I? Wow. I can't quit. For instance, today, I got to spend two hours with Tommy Chong without Shelby there. Uh, 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 uh. It was on Zoom. Hmm. <laughs> it'll do <laughs> yeah i would rather smile too much than have you guys have to see my resting bitch face <laughs> yeah i don't like it so i don't figure you would <laughs> you know when i smile too much it causes the other problem 
that I know what you're thinking. Everybody thinks it. She looks just like Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> I get it all the time. Oh my gosh. It's a real problem. It's really hard. I'm really suffering with it. <laughs> and the, the other thing I'm really suffering about, I don't know if you can relate. We went through this thing called a pandemic. That was so rough, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Smiling too much. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> My face doesn't match what I'm saying. I hear it. But no, the, in the pandemic, we were told not to go anywhere. Don't travel. It's not safe. So I stayed at home and threw down all the bonbons and sent my hips abroad. <laughs> yeah. They have a new area code all to their own. <laughs> I've been getting older. Is anybody else aging up in this thing? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> On my last mm -hmm. birthday, I turned 21 times three plus none of your business. <laughs> <laughs> and my twin brother, I have a twin. His name is Fred. Mm -hmm. And my twin embarrassed me to no end on our last birthday. Mm -hmm. He came out the nerve as a 70 year old. <laughs> <laughs> but not me. I say 21 times three plus nine because math <laughs> confuses everybody. <laughs> He's very funny, my twin. He says that I look <laughs> just like him in drag. <laughs> Fred, Fred was born 30 minutes after me. That makes him my afterbirth. <laughs> <laughs> and now he calls me rarely <laughs> he actually calls me blank for brains you know the s word blank for brains he thinks he's so funny fred our apple doesn't fall from our family tree just twinsies forever <laughs> <laughs> i'm a boomer and for young people i explain it like this we're that group of people that you want to do a lot of curl ups. Wait, that you want to just curl up and die. <laughs> yeah. I think the young people are jealous of us because we're the ones that get the calls every day to remind us to eat dinner. <laughs> and all those drug ads on TV aimed at us. <laughs> the possible side effects like, just curl up and die already. Oh. <laughs> I got to tell you, don't take me seriously. I don't think I look anything like Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> I think I look like if she had had a sister who could really not sing and really couldn't act. <laughs> and that sister had to pop out of a cake and sing happy birthday to Ted Kennedy. <laughs> that's the one I look like I get it you know I come from a really weird town um you might not have ever heard of it in the news lately Portland Oregon <laughs> yeah. they are so weird there they were neck and neck for keeping it weird with Austin Texas and lately they really took the lead <laughs> <laughs> When I grew up there, us boomers had one thing we went by, the song Precious and Few by the band Climax. <laughs> Mostly because that's exactly what happened in our sex lives in the 50s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, um, I have one minute left and I just wanna, I just wanna say that I, all, I come from a progressive town. It was quiet. It's progressive. I'm not at all progressive. Mm -hmm. But I did once just to fit in. And I got in on the phone to try to save 15% on car insurance. <laughs> <laughs> Which was weird because they court ordered me not to drive. <laughs> wow. And ring. Not really. It's a joke. But <laughs> you know what's really weird is calling progressive when you don't even know your own stance on price guns. 
<laughs> Thank you guys. I'm Linda Marcus Smith. That's right. Another round of applause for Linda Marcus Smith. Right. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. That's right. That's right. She brought us some crazy classic stuff. You know, the dive bar comedy show is about all of America. And she talked about a great tension that a lot of Americans don't want to address the boomer generation X Gen Z beef. There's a beef because you know the boomers. You know they were when America was great again, where they could, you could get a job, you could raise a family, your wife didn't have to work, you could have two kids, buy them cars, take them on vacation, send them to college, and nobody would have to go to work. Now we gotta fucking live with you guys, <laughs> and that's just so I can afford a dime bag of weed a week. <laughs> so that's why that's what the real beef is it's only because you're going to live into your elderly years and be happy and taken care of and we're going to die in a car a cardboard box oh. <laughs> thank you guys by the way good luck <laughs> I realized that I, I got mad at my mom one day. I sat around, I was doing this stuff, I looked at the comedy. I was like, "What the hell was you doing?" I said, "She's like, we just taking drugs and fucking." I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, how can you be mad at that? How can you be mad at that? Oh, you taking drugs and fucking? Okay, wait, I'm taking drugs and fucking. So, okay. <laughs> you guys started a pattern. That's what it was. <laughs> oh, the ages. orgasm she talked about I'm still coming now <laughs> That's another round of applause guys from Linda Marcus Smith <laughs> all right all right all right so the dive bar show you know we also love to keep it real freaky so we love to sandwich our men in between our women <laughs> and every little bit of what's going on so the next one coming to the stage is our gentlemen we like to keep our balls inside the lips it's just like sex Balls inside the lips. That's how you do it. That's how you make babies. So we're gonna make a comedy baby right now. You guys ready to make a baby? Yeah. That's right. So let me get a clap, 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 clap. When the gentleman comes to the stage, this man is funky as hell. And he's funky as shit, and his comedy is sticking in your soul. It's funky. Say I'm a Ooh. Hey, nobody told me they had to make a comedy baby. I don't know if I'm up for the pressure, you guys. But, you know, give me some more notice next time, Mr. C. Uh, the first thing I got to do is put myself on gallery view because I like to have, I like to do comedy the same way I have sex, not looking at myself. <laughs> uh, before I get started, I want to say a big happy birthday to Mr. C. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, you know my favorite thing about Mr. C, you guys? He doesn't even need a bar background because he lives in one. <laughs> yeah. And Carol, Carol's going to do a show at the J spot. Hey, Carol, I hope you didn't book any men because we all know that men can never find the J spot. Hey. <laughs> I, uh, I've been doing comedy on Zoom for about a year, you know, for a little over a year. And it's cool. I've met a lot of people from all over the world. Uh, what people did know about California is that we have a, uh, recreational cannabis dispensaries but what they did not know was that a lot of those dispensaries deliver mm -hmm. yeah so sometimes i'll call the weed guy and i'll call the pizza guy and i'll make him race to my house <laughs> i did that joke at a show recently and somebody yelled out a very well thought out heckle they yelled who wins and the answer is obviously me <laughs> <laughs> you guys. i got it on gallery view this is cool it's like an aa meeting you know if it was at a bar <laughs> <laughs> I'll go first. Hi, my name is Sam. <laughs> I'm addicted to hashtagging. <laughs> well, I'll start it out innocent, you know, uh, Facebook, Twitter, but now I'm hashtagging like real life situations where I probably shouldn't be. Like I was filling out a job application and for work experience, I put stand up comedy, hashtag unemployment. <laughs> and then earlier I was at a bar similar to this one behind me. <laughs> and I was, uh, I was signing my name in a little credit card slip. And right underneath my name, I put hashtag declined. <laughs> but I take a picture and leave. <laughs> What's up, Dive Bar Comedy? It's so good to be here tonight. Woo! Woo yeah, hashtag killing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what I hate? Fucking uh. audiences. Uh. <laughs> That's why I do comedy online, you guys. That's why I do comedy online. <laughs> was, uh... I was going to work the other day and I was in a hurry. And when I got there, I realized I forgot my mask. Uh, instead of my mask, though, I actually got a pair of underwear. <laughs> yeah, it was a shitty day, you guys. Very shitty day. 
Uh, I finally quit mm. smoking cigarettes. Woo woo. No offense, Caroline. Uh, <laughs> I didn't quit because of my health or anything. I quit because people always ask for cigarettes and it's fucking annoying. Uh, uh, uh. And then, like, I get scared. Like, what if I give a cigarette to a minor? You know, what if I get in trouble for giving a cigarette to a minor? Like, Chris Hansen, his TV crew, are gonna run up and be like, excuse me, sir, uh, you please don't go outside. The police are outside. The police are outside. Please don't go out there. I'm like, well, what happened? What happened? You gave a cigarette to a minor? No, I didn't. That wasn't me. I was, I was framed. I have a text message for me right here. It says, would you like a cigarette? They're tasty and addictive. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me. That wasn't me. It says hashtag funky Sam Medina. <laughs> My friend called me up. He was all excited. He's like, dude, I got a new job. I'm a bouncer now. And I was like, yeah, no shit. I'm a bouncer too. But homeboy didn't believe me. So I wrote him a check. Hey. <laughs> uh, I like hometown buffet. Uh, Cause hometown buffet is like an underground fight club for fat people. <laughs> yeah, instead of fighting, we eat, we eat to the death. <laughs> What's deal with green M and M's? They say it's supposed to make you horny. I like seven pounds. All I got was diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I tried to have a butter finger the other day, and it really hurt. And the butter didn't taste very good off my finger. I'm thinking they should change their slogan: crispity, crunchity. Emergency roomity. <laughs> My wife asked me if I was embarrassed to kiss her in public. And I'm like, no, not at all. And she goes, okay, well, then kiss me. I'm like, I will just wait for all these people to leave. <laughs> or the next pandemic. <laughs> If uh, speaking of my speaking of wives and stuff, if your wife ever catches you on one of those escort websites, uh, the correct answer is not. Don't worry, my credit card already got declined. <laughs> <laughs> they have a clearance section, though. They do. I saw it. Uh, you don't want to go there though because they have repercussions, like uh, broken dreams, STD, and, and children. <laughs> I um, I consider myself to be a functional stoner, which means I like to get high and go do shit. Somebody's like, let's go here, let's go there. Actually, it's more like, let's go eat here. Let's go eat there. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, have you guys seen these new things called chocolate diamonds? I think Caroline mm. would know what I'm talking about. It's uh, actually, it's broken Coors Light bottles. You can make them at home. It's called domestic violence. <laughs> it's true, you guys. Uh, somebody told me recently that I look like the ugly guy from Pawn Stars. <laughs> I was like, oh, great. I look like the entire cast of Pawn Stars. <laughs> i'm trying to lose weight my wife has me on this diet she told me that sundays can be cheat days <laughs> said, sunday i got a hooker <laughs> i finally went to the gym though you guys <laughs> yeah they canceled my membership <laughs> i uh, uh losing weight it's always gonna set goals for yourself you know so i decided that my new target shirt size is target shirt size <laughs> now i know what you guys are thinking right like target has many shirt sizes sure they do but none of them fit me uh, so i'm saying, so I'm saying. Uh, all right i'm gonna get out of here uh before i go i want to uh what i want to do here before I, go, <laughs> uh, I wanted to before you get out of here i want to say uh i have been doing i've been doing a lot of comedy uh recently you know i've been trying to but uh, i've been going through a divorce and uh it's things are tough, you know, uh, but with one thing that we did agree on, uh, we agreed on joint custody. I got a joint. She got custody. Now everybody's happy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. That last one's a joke. The rest of them weren't. Hey, hi, <laughs> Mr. C. Thank you, Dive Bar Comedy. My name is Funky Sam Medina. Dive bar comedy show, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of here, a little education, a little child abuse. <laughs> Guys, it's like being home in Philly. I feel all warm. <laughs> I, love it, I love it. I love it. And he also put up another great thing that's very important. Like he said, he's on a weight loss journey and definitely, you know, get your health together, eat your salads, take your breaks, make your food, walk that extra step. Don't ride two blocks to the store, walk to the store, do whatever you can and whatnot. Because me, I hate to exercise. <laughs> I'm the laziest motherfucker alive. If I'm not playing basketball or getting some pussy, I'm not moving. 
<laughs> that's it. That's it. That's like, I was like, I was like, damn, I was like, yeah, we're getting out of shape. I was like, I gotta give you a new girlfriend. <laughs> and I, you know what I'm saying? I don't got no time. <laughs> so when I had I to take Carol, I'm like, yo, you got any friends? She's like, yeah, I got seven. <laughs> <laughs> I got seven, girl. Don't worry. I've been on the black app all day. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I got a few. That's what I'm talking about. Excellent. So another round of applause, guys, for Funky Sam and Dana. <laughs> all right, all right. So we got two more comedians coming to the stage right now. We got our next comedian coming to the stage. And I love her name because it sounds like one of those names when you was in high school and you was a dude. It sounds like the name of that girl that all the guys like, like oh, my God, bro, you see Kirsten today? Oh, bro, bro, Kirsten was looking so hot, bro. Dude, 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 dude man, dude. Kirsten touched my arm, bro. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, it's like this. So you guys ready to be blessed by the K-Town queen of this world? Can I get a yeah? Yeah. yeah. So let me get a clap, 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 clap for the queen, Kirsten, Kristen Smith. Sorry about that, baby. Kristen Smith. Oh, Mr. C, I, now I know why no one wanted me to touch their arm. I'm Kristen Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, I totally messed it up. <laughs> I got a lot of my Caucasian women. You're fine. It's okay. One of my good friends, she's at Kirsten and, and it, it, it's fine. I know, I know who you're talking about. Um, you're, we're talking about some fitness. Uh, personally, I think people who go into a gym and know what to do next are very impressive. Um, I used to get free gym access as a work perk and I didn't know what I was doing, but there was this um, vibrational plate in the middle of the gym. And it said that if you get on it, it's supposed to increase your work efficacy, workout efficacy. So I get on and I turn it on and I'm like, oh, my lips, my nips, my lips. <laughs> it was very embarrassing, um, but I can say that it's, it was very effective because after the one embarrassing use, you see I'll have, I have very thin lips, bony pecs, and the most chiseled labes I've ever <laughs> And the problem with fitness is it's not enough to just go to the gym. Um, there's also the healthy eating. I don't know that I'm personally a healthy eater. I, I thought I had sophisticated taste but I recently learned that calamaris oftentimes cut up pig's anus. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> I thought it was fancy. Turns out mm -hmm. I just like hot dogs. <laughs> I have four brothers and they were all athletes. And uh, I, try I tried, I tried out for things. Uh, I didn't make teams, but I did get uh, to be the mascot. Ooh. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bear, a bear costume. Um, and the mascot was old, you know, passed down from generations. And so it was tattered and worn. It was made for a 300 pound man. And um, the costume was missing the bear uh, claws. So it was just me and this raggedy uh, costume and my human bear hands. Uh, but I, I loved it. I was like bobbling around with my big giant hand and my human jazz, my bare head and human jazz hands. <laughs> but, and my parents would come to watch their kids play football. And every now and then they'd happen to catch a glimpse of the, me bobbling around down on the sidelines, sharing that team spirit. And I could see, uh, tear stained glean in my dad's eye and a smile that kind of seemed to say that's my kid <laughs> <laughs> the one that isn't a boy <laughs> um i started working out during quarantine uh and i've lost 25 pounds Woo! <laughs> i i gained 40 so but I decided that weight loss is not a good term you know I've lost things and it's it's sad and it's surprising 
uh, with weight loss, uh, I know where it went. <laughs> I've hit mountain climb, bear crawled, skull crushed, uh, bird dog, fun run, and I chased those pounds away. And the only tears I've cried, it was the sweat, which a meme once told me is just uh, you have the tears of fat leaving your body. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, one of my friends is also on a weight loss journey, and she was telling me how her gynecologist said that if it fits in the palm of your hand, it's a serving. I always heard more than a mouthful is a waste, but I don't know. Does it, it, it wouldn't it, does it matter if you do swallow or you don't, I, she didn't, she didn't ask. And I was also wondering what insurance covers a gynecologist who also gives nutritional advice, not my insurance. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, if doctors are so smart, why do they keep naming diseases after themselves? Uh. Hodgkin's lymphoma, mm. very gnarly disease. What you wouldn't want that named after you. Crohn's disease, it can cause abdominal pain, diarrhea, weight loss, anemia, fatigue. And it could have been named after any of the three physicians who penned the Crohn's dis discovery paper. But apparently Bernard Crohn decided that he wanted his name on the shark disease. Uh, 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 uh. I mean, we all have goals and we want credit for reaching them, but don't doctors have personal lives? Like what happens whenever he goes to make a reservation? <laughs> he's calling up Spago for, for, for an anniversary dinner. And he's like, uh, the, the person's like, oh, reservation for two under Crohn's. Oh, come on. That I know what Crohn's is and it's no laughing matter. Try breaking Mastro's Bart Simpson. All right, my time is up. Thank you all. Yeah, that's right, Taylor. I for Kristen. <laughs> Woo! Kristen Luca. <laughs> right. uh, actually, your name actually sounds like a sports name. Like we're going to test it out right now. We're going to chant her name. Like you know, how you'd be like, like Jordan. Jordan. We got to do this with Lucas. On one, two, three. So on one, two, three. Very, very athletic. Thank you. Yeah, Pops is like, yeah, I'm proud. <laughs> that was an outstanding mascot routine. <laughs> Thank outstanding. you. And you know, mascotting is hard because it's hot as fuck, and that's too. Yes. Did the suit stink? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I also went to a ghetto school, so apparently you're from Philly because we didn't have <laughs> it was just hands. It was just a bear. Luckily, since he was black, his hands matched the bear head. <laughs> you just no. so, see him gloves on it, like nope, nope, nope. He's just dark as hell. That's just <laughs> and you know Tyrone, he's dark as fuck. <laughs> Outstanding. That's all right. That's all right. If you're from a family full of boys, you're probably a really tough lady. So another round of applause for Kristen <laughs> Luke. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see him up in here. I see a little something up in here, girl. <laughs> <laughs> you probably pick your man up. Like, ah! <laughs> 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 like, I love this girl. <laughs> your father be so proud. <laughs> so proud. He's like, see, look at my baby. She can pick <laughs> That's my, that's my mom's X chromosome going to work. <laughs> All right, so we got one more comedian coming to this stage. You guys ready for this last comedian? Can I get a year? Yeah. Ooh. This last comedian coming to the stage is an LA family favorite. She went to the grand stone during the pandemic. She was hitting the streets, catching diseases, getting brothers <laughs> out of prison, getting people one reparation at a time. And recently, I hear she's been playing pool. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's what the kids call it nowadays. I'm playing pool. I heard Megan Thee Stallion say that in the song. <laughs> pool, nah, that means she getting the bag. Watch your back, Jail Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> that $50 before you went to jail, but don't worry about it. 
Right here is also the hardest working lady. She has done so much work. She got shows here. She got an upcoming show at the J Spot this goddamn Thursday. She does shows in Vegas. She does shows in the park near homeless people. She does shows in Koreatown at the Baja Grill. It is everywhere. It's ill. So can I get a clap, 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 clap for Carol, the world's best laugh? New Orleans. <laughs> Woo-hoo-hoo! Woo-hoo! Oh, <laughs> always the most interesting introductions ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys. Uh, speaking of the gym, you guys, I go to the gym every day. Uh, I name the bathroom the gym. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I go to the gym every day. <laughs> mm-hmm. I went to the doctor recently, uh, make sure everything was all good in the hood, and it is, but uh, she did say, you know, you could uh, do a little more exercise, lose a couple pounds, and I was like, well, does sex count? And she said, actually, yes, it does, but it has to be at least three hours a week, so uh you guys i lost 10 pounds (laughs) 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 Uh, my ex-boyfriend called me the other day and i decided i'd be nice and speak to him i did and then um i was like well i gotta go uh and i hung up and then like two seconds later he called back and uh i was like did you butt dial me and he's like no my butt's not that big Plus, I keep my phone in the front pocket. And I was like, <laughs> oh, you dick dialed me. <laughs> <laughs> that was not the problem in that relationship. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. I've been dating now for a little while. I've been uh, I started uh, back when I started dating, like the last time I was dating before, you know, like way back when, before I was married 22 years ago, uh, you know, it was popular then, you guys, pagers. <laughs> pagers and pay phones. <laughs> and now, you guys, uh, the dating scene has changed a lot, and it is a plethora of penises, you guys. <laughs> it is a phalanx of phalluses, a smorgasbord of schlong, a surplus of sausages, a wealth of wang, a deluge of dong, a charcuterie of toad. It is a carnisserie de car. It is a lot of dick pics, ladies. Am I right? A lot. <laughs> mm, I don't know why men want to send you pictures of pee pee, but they do. <laughs> Uh, they want to send a lot of pictures. I say, if you're going to send a picture, uh, number one, ask first. And number two, dress it up, make it festive, like put some googly eyes on it, googly eyes on it, uh, maybe a little bow tie, head down to Michael's, get a hot glue gun, that'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> get creative, guys. That's what I'm saying. Make it festive. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, I've been getting a lot of those, although I must say I, I have uh, discovered that I like the dark meat because <laughs> the rumors are true. Uh, ladies, the rumors are true on average, larger than average. <laughs> uh, yeah, Mr. C, he's over there having a good time. Uh, so <laughs> as I'm talking about you, sir. <laughs> uh yeah i uh started on the apps uh at our time which is for singles over 50 and uh those pictures were terrible you guys. <laughs> those are not good pictures at all those were just saggy balls is what those were. Mm-mm, no thank you uh and then i moved on to the plenty of fish anybody try plenty of fish no just me yeah well let me mm-hmm. tell you there's plenty <laughs> none of those fish are delicious they're all just disgusting <laughs> i eventually uh moved on from there to where i should have started from the beginning you guys the blk you guys <laughs> yes. uh i like the blk because all the pictures are hot and the men are hot too <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah so i've been on the blk and um i have uh noticed there's uh the younger guys are hitting on me guys like 40s 30s 20s but um if your profile picture has a graduation cap that's too young for me <laughs> <laughs> no thank you <laughs> uh plus i can't date under 25 because those guys don't know how to use a phone <laughs> Uh, and i don't like snapchat so (laughs) anybody under 25 that's too young for me um i uh i 
I did try dating uh, an older guy though, and um, that was not. It didn't work out, you guys. Because uh, I feel like uh, telling somebody not to hit on your sister in your own house is not really. That's not necessary. <laughs> uh, that's not. Mm -mm. Yeah. So uh, I also tried to date this older guy, um, but uh, like three days after we started chatting, he fell and broke his hip. You guys. And he ended up in the hospital and he had surgery. And finally, you know, we kept chatting and talking. And then finally, when he got out, I went to meet him. And uh, turns out not a love connection, but uh, he was so sweet and so crippled that I kept talking to him because I figured, well, maybe I'll get the handicap parking pass. <laughs> mm. Yeah, uh -huh. I mean, uh, mm, end up that way. But um, I, I was, I was. I kept on talking to him. And then one day I didn't hear anything at all from him. And I was very worried. And uh, finally, at the end of the day, he said, uh, hey, I'm sorry to text you today. My phone fell into the bed and I had to wait for my wife to come over and get it for me. <laughs> and all your text messages and all your pictures. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, he's like, but don't worry. We're separated. We don't even live together. So I kept dating him. And, uh, you know, virtually dating him. And then um, a couple few weeks later, I didn't hear a word from him again. And it turned into a whole week. And then at the end of the week, finally, he texts me and he's like, I'm sorry I didn't text you this week. I was out of town on vacation with my wife. And she says, I can't see you anymore. So evidently, she just mm -hmm. needed to come to share. <laughs> mm. So I'll leave you with this. You guys, did you get my DNA test done? Did anybody else get their DNA test done? You know, that's yeah. a white girl requirement, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So you could figure out that you're just white. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I figured out. You guys have white AF. Uh, I also <laughs> figured out that I have the white guilt to go with it. You guys, I totally have the white guilt. But I feel like now that I exclusively date black, that I am giving reparations, but just one black man at a time. <laughs> <laughs> so um, before I go, I do want to tell Mr. C uh, that we want to wish you a very happy birthday. And if you guys want to sing with me, uh -huh. I'm going to lead us in the little happy birthday song. So Ooh. ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Mr. C. 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 Happy bir
<laughs> the very first time that I saw your brown eyes, your lips said hello, and I said hi. I knew right then you were the one. But I was caught up in physical attraction. But to my satisfaction, baby, you were more than just to face. Oh, baby, I just want to be the one that hold you. Sometimes I feel as if I don't deserve you. I cherish every moment that we share. So when if I ever fall in love again, I will be sure that the lady is my friend. So when if my Ever fall in love so true. <laughs> I will be sure that the lady's just like you, Miss Carol. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was lovely, and it's a great message. If you're gonna date someone, date your friends. Uh, <laughs> Because at least they already, they already know you. They already like you. You know, you've got a, a good basis there. And uh, Carol, I don't know if I've mentioned you. I did my DNA testing, and I found out I'm black. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. 99.8% <laughs> Western European and 0.2% and Sub-Saharan African. So, uh, according to mm. the one drop rule, mm. I am hey, black. Hey, in America, so, back before yes. when it was great again, that's considered technically black. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, she's black. She's black. She black. I'd be seriously black <laughs> if I could be black from injection, let me tell you. <laughs> 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 the name was just somebody else's that got mixed in somehow. I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, but yeah, this was so much fun, you guys, and uh, all of you guys hanging out, hiding out at home. I hope we can see each other in real life soon. For those of you who are venturing out into the world, come see us live. We're doing three live shows every month. It's Woo! We're sticking to Tuesdays. So next week is Lotus Lounge, and then the week after that, we're doing... Uh, Liquid, liquid zoo, zoo up in Van Nuys and then uh, the next week after that which is always the first Tuesday of the month we're doing Witches, Witches brew. brew in North Hills so they're all fun spots they're all dive bars and uh, we get down super so uh, I'm excited by all the lineups and the flyers will be posted uh, one after the next after the next so keep checking us out at dive bar comedy wherever you listen to the podcast you can find our recording oh god the babies are coming just check out dive bar comedy we're at episode 155 i believe this is. so there's a lot of content if you want to go back and listen to our old episodes they're a lot of fun so divebarcomedy.com or Dive Bar Comedy wherever you find your podcast. I better go take care of these kids because they are going crazy. I've been muted half the show because you don't even know how much streaming you have missed out on. So we'll see you next time. Bye, Facebook. Bye. Thank you. Thank you so much.